an effective system for verifying work eligibility so the businesses can better comply with the law. And then we'll be in a position to say, if you don't comply with the law, you deserve to be punished. If we catch you cheating right now, you'll be punished. But we've got to make it sure that small businesses and large businesses have got the capacity to verify whether a person's here legally or not. Congress needs to give federal agents the authority they need to enforce the law when job applicants submit fraudulent Social Security numbers. Congress needs to make it mandatory for employers to check information provided by job applicants against federal databases. Right now, that's voluntary. In other words, you get ready to hire somebody, you need to check against the federal database to make sure the numbers on the cards aren't forged or real. But what really Congress needs to do is to use a biometric technologi technology to create a new tamper-proof identification card for every legal foreign worker. That's what we need. We need a tamper-proof card. He says, if you're here legally working, here's your card. And you've got to show it. And the business owner has got to call for it. And if they hire somebody without the tamper-proof card, they're in violation of the law and will be fined. We've got to reduce the, the incentives for foreign workers to sneak across the border. That's what we agree on in Washington. If I were a Border Patrol agent, I'd be asking, what are you trying to do about the people trying to sneak in here to work? How come, how come you don't have a temporary way for them to come work on the jobs Americans aren't doing? See, I believe that we need to understand that there are people coming across this border to put food on the table for their family, and they'll do anything to make it into America to do work. That's what you've got to understand. A lot of people in Artesian, New Mexico, know what I'm talking about. There are people coming to do work Americans aren't doing. They're working in the dairy farms. 